where did all those honest and affordable pickup trucks go? That's the question many of us have been asking for a while, and luckily we may finally find the answer. They are in Thailand, and they are known as the Toyota Hilux Champ, a pickup that dominates 2024 as the ultimate pickup truck, with its price that, when compared to other pickups, seems absurdly cheap. What do you get for a little bit over $12,000? And why can't we have a pickup like this in North America? Stay with us to find out. Everything happened so fast. During the last quarter of 2023, Toyota suddenly came up with a pickup truck concept that looked pretty basic. Boxy shape, bare body panels, and obvious lack of modern tech and convenience features. Everyone was wondering, what's the deal? Well, it turned out that Toyota always knew what truck drivers wanted and what the market had been missing for a while. The Japanese car maker introduced a concept called IMVO, clearly pointing out that it's based on the IMV platform, a body-on-frame construction which usually doesn't come with entry-level pickups. Just a few weeks later, Toyota announced serial production, along with the Hilux Champ nameplate, which was a pretty clear indicator that the Japanese company has big ambitions with this one and that it wants it to become an important member of the family, with the moniker that carries the name of the company's most iconic pickup. And why did Toyota choose Thailand as its primary market? Well, this is still a developing market, a market with a desperate need for an honest pickup. That's not the case with Australia and North America anymore, where pickups have become much more than just work machines. They're convenient, luxurious, and usually overpriced. In this part of the world, these things don't count. It's all about work and affordability, and that's why Toyota chose to keep things simple. And no, this isn't the Maverick's competitor. This pickup puts substance over form, and it's designed as a genuine body-on-frame pickup. A pickup that doesn't care much about ride quality or convenience. This one is about business. And if we can judge by the reaction of Americans who already heard of the Hilux Champ, this is the pickup they've been looking for, not the Maverick or the Santa Cruz. But you know what's probably the most impressive thing about the Hilux Champ? It's the fact that Toyota engineers managed to make this truck look great. With this price tag, normally we'd expect a rugged pickup that resembles an old-school Soviet-style military vehicle with no sense of aesthetics. But the moment we saw the IMVO concept, we were amazed by its aesthetics. It's a pretty similar design approach as in the case of Suzuki Jimny, where some archaic design solutions get complemented by a lot of modern details. Such a combo works great in our book, and it's proof that attractive things don't necessarily have to be expensive. On a pickup truck like the Hilux Champ, even the bold cladding with unpainted plastics can look great. Toyota designers really did a fantastic job in blending cheap design solutions with rugged bodywork and managed to create a specific synergy. With its appearance, it's pretty obvious that the Hilux Champ is meant for work, but what's also impressive about it is the actual size. Although cheap, this pickup features pretty respectable dimensions. There's a short wheelbase version with 108.3 inches between the axles and a total length of around 185 inches, which is already quite decent. On the other hand, the long wheelbase version is pretty much as big as the two times more expensive Ford Maverick. It features a 121.5-inch wheelbase, while the total length goes up to 198.4 inches. And while we're talking about dimensions, let's mention the remaining measurements as well. The width of 70.3 inches, as well as the height of 68.3 inches. Now we finally come to the point, one of the key reasons why the Hilux Champ is so affordable. If we go back a few months ago when the IMVO concept was presented for the first time, Toyota didn't just present the prototype. It also presented a whole bunch of renderings that showed this pickup can be configured in so many different ways. We saw so many iterations, including a food truck, a camper, an RV, an off-roader, a fire truck, and many, many more, clearly showing that this truck is designed to be flexible and that it can be configured in any way you want. So one of the key reasons why the new pickup is affordable is because it comes in two bare-boned variants, either as a chassis cab pickup or a pickup with a flatbed. So buyers can attach all kinds of things behind the cabin and turn this pickup into anything they want. It's on the customers to finalize the product in accordance with the specific needs of their business and in accordance with their preferences. And what's particularly interesting is that Toyota already made a deal with over a hundred aftermarket brands, which are already working on specializing in all kinds of accessories for this particular pickup. So it's pretty clear that we'll be seeing hundreds of different configurations on the roads of Thailand and other markets. Considering that
that the Japanese car maker already announced that a new pickup will also compete in Africa and South America. Will it make it to North America as well? Stay until the end of the video. But meanwhile, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button, because more interesting reviews like this are coming. As already mentioned at the beginning of this video, if it comes to North America, the Hilux Champ won't be a direct competitor to Maverick. And no, it's not just about the significantly lower price. This is a completely different breed. While the Maverick's essentially a crossover with an open-air cargo area, the Hilux Champ is a genuine truck with body-on-frame construction. It's not a practical family hauler, it's meant for work. And that IMVO name of the concept was there for a very good reason. It's because the concept and now the production version are based on the well-known IMV platform, the same one that underpins the Hilux, the most iconic pickup in Toyota's portfolio. In other words, the Hilux Champ may be cheap, but it's extremely capable. Let's stick with that platform for a little bit more. As mentioned, this is a genuine body-on-frame pickup truck, and in practice, this means a significantly higher potential for hard work compared to car-based unibody pickups. With impressive rigidity, a pickup truck like this has way more potential for towing and hauling, and in the end, that's what pickups are all about after all. Just take the max payload capacity, for example. Toyota already announced that the max towing capacity of the new pickup is 1 ton, or 2,200 pounds if you prefer. So just remember that the Ford Maverick can haul no more than 1,500 pounds, and the benefits of a body-on-frame construction became clear. Of course, other mechanical parts also play an important role in the overall rigidity of a pickup truck. For example, there's a pretty rudimental suspension setup with a double wishbone layout at the front and a solid axle with leaf springs at the rear end. Also, let's not forget that unlike most small pickups such as Maverick or Santa Cruz that are front-wheel drive based, this one features a proper rear-wheel drive setup, which is the best technical solution when it comes to towing potential. The first time this pickup was presented at the Japan Mobility Show, there was a lot of talk about electrification. Sure, the future will likely be electric, and pickups will eventually switch to it as well. But in the meantime, there is no better option than pure gas-powered, naturally aspirated engines. Because that's the best way to keep things cheap, reliable, and extremely durable. And Toyota already offered two engines of this kind, both with four cylinders. The base and cheapest models come with a good old 2.0-litre inline-4, which in this configuration puts out 137 horsepower and 135 pound-feet of torque. Obviously, that's not much, but if we talk about strict business purposes, we're pretty sure it's more than adequate to get the job done in most scenarios. In cases when the extra capability is needed, buyers have the option to pick the well-known 2.7-litre inline-4 with 164 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque, an engine that has been powering Hilux and Tacoma for a long time and which proved itself as pretty much a bulletproof unit. As for the transmission, the base 2-litre unit comes with an old-school 5-speed manual, while the larger engine comes coupled with a 6-speed automatic, so obviously it's notably more expensive than the base version. But the offer doesn't end there. Toyota decided to offer a diesel version as well for those more demanding applications that need to deal with more payload and tow more. These models can be equipped with a 2.4-litre turbo diesel, another well-known unit for Hilux. That engine puts out around 150 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. Obviously, it's the most capable of the three, but it's also the most convenient because buyers can choose to pair it either with a 5-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic. For now, all variants of the pickup come with rear-wheel drive, but we're pretty sure that at some point Toyota could offer a four-wheel drive version as well. Especially if we consider that among those rendered images at the premiere, there were also off-road and overlanding configurations. If there's something we've learned from Ford's approach to the Maverick, that would be the fact that one of the best ways to save production costs on pickups is to save on the interior. And it seems like Toyota has raised this game to the next level, because we doubt things could go cheaper and simpler than the Hilux Champ. If you look at the cabin, you'll find nothing but cheap plastic and other low-rent materials. But with its rugged shape, the dashboard actually actually looks pretty nice. Everything looks pretty straightforward and easy to use. And while we're talking about the easiness of use, this pickup is missing one modern-day essential a touchscreen. And to be honest, it doesn't need it. Things actually look pretty good without it, while controls at the center console are simple and super easy to use. When you look at the new Hilux Champ, it's a perfect pickup for emerging markets. But why wouldn't we see it in North America as well? It's cheap and super practical, not to mention its versatile nature. 
Practically, the only potential issue would be the so-called chicken tax, unless Toyota decides to establish a production line in North America as well. But even with additional taxes, this pickup would be significantly cheaper than Maverick, considering that its price in Thailand starts under $13,000. Commercial purposes, farmers, contractors, there are so many potential buyers of this cheap pickup in North America. And we think Toyota's management would be crazy not to at least try to offer it in this part of the world. What do you think of the Toyota Hilux Champ? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.